What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomaly channel. All right, guys, I said, as promised, I was going to do a video on Ceres, the dwarf planet. Um, I called it a body in my last uh, video because basically I don't think they know what the hell it is, to be honest with you. Um, but just like all the other pictures and things that they want to hide, this one's no different. It is being hidden as well. Um, it's a joke, man. It's, it's, it's a gaffe. Let me show you something. Let me jump into here okay bright spots in sarah's second mapping orbit now i've got the same picture here so you guys would get this as well um and this is just a joke you can just see how it's all fudged out and you'll see it a lot better in a second but i love this the brightest spots on dwarf planet sarah's or series uh are seen in this image taken by nor uh, nasa's dawn spacecraft on june 6 to, uh, 2015 this is among the first snapshots from dawn's second mapping orbit which is 20, uh, well, I was going to say 2,700 miles, but 2,700 miles or 4,400 kilometers in altitude. Uh, the resolution is 14,000 feet or 410 meters per pixel. Okay, scientists are still puzzled by the, na uh, the nature of these spots and, uh, and considering explanations that uh, include salt and ice. Uh, BS. Um, you can get the high res if you want, the TIFF here, or you can get the standard PIA. Um, which is just a JPEG. Uh, obviously, you always go for the TIFF. But let me show you something. I'm not going to make this one very long at all because, it, it, you know what I mean, it's hard to get into this, and this is there's very few photos out. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of them, but as far as being more and more close up and the orbit's closer. So um, let's let's have a look at it. Okay. <laughs> look at this right off the bat. This is the picture. I haven't done a thing to it. Look at, the, look at the fudge in this. Look at this. All right here, completely blurred out, heavily blurred out, I might add. All the way around this. And if you noticed, why do certain pictures, and you can go back to, because you can do this, if you were to go back to a couple of these pictures back and go to uh, just regular Google, just look, just Google the thing. Uh, first, there's only two dots. Then there's multiple dots. Then they're in a different spot. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, is it because it's so far out? But, I mean, I'm seeing it's pretty close, and I'm not seeing the same exact spots. Most of them are. But then there's some of them, like I said, when you get into this one, there's multiple besides that one. It's not that they've changed, or, well, if it's too much of a distance away, you won't notice as much. It might appear as one spot, you know what I'm saying. But they've been getting close enough uh, to know that there's more than one of these uh, spots. And they're just manipulating them in a different way, that's all. But they're trying to stay consistent. Unfortunately, then they haven't been able to do that. Now, I'm just going to go step by step. And, and, you know, first thing I do is automatically docking spots up just automatic <coughs> anything that's bright highly contrasted just docking them up that's all um but you're going to see something that's pretty cool and i know started to notice this at first now i'm going wow what the hell is that um let me do this see how that's like really bright but i noticed something you don't even have to do a thing to this picture what the hell is this outline look at this something in here stops goes around goes like this here but then there's something which appears to be square in here, and there's something else over here. Now, at first you go, oh, man, I'm not seeing that. Well, let's keep going into the pictures. Let's see what we find out. Because there's something else that jumped out at me, and it's just like, whoa, uh, that's pretty neat. Now, I noticed something. I don't know if you guys are starting to see this, but right here, check this out. Very faintly, there's a line. And there's another line. It's almost like if you're looking down at a CPU to a computer, but uh, yeah, this thing is actually square. This thing actually has a square outline, and again, you can start to see this, and you can see what looks like multiple things under here. Now, let's keep going. Okay. Again. Notice how these have gotten darker, because I'm using the contrast and brightness, and I'm trying to get these details to come out. Um, you'll start to see something right here start to pop out. You'll start to see there's something right here that's white. It's always pay attention to areas that are lighter color, not the ones that are darker. Um, again, here, and you'll start to see a lot more of this. See, see how this is starting to look more of a square? You can see a fainted line right there, and it's completely straight across. What the hell does that? Um, unless, of course, it's intelligently made. Now, it almost has like a double layer, like almost like it's a pyramid type thing, because you can see more white under this, and you can see multiple lines. I don't know if you can see that, but if I back up here a little bit, now let me go to the next one. 
try to lighten it up again so we can try to bring some of this out and you'll start to notice there's lines going like this here and then there's some kind of weird thing sitting here what looks like this black round circle on top okay you'll also notice something right here start to come into into the picture but it's more than just that that's what's crazy all right let's try to bring out more of it now you'll start to see more and more of this white area starting to come out see this right here there's this spot this one this one it's the whitened areas that you want to pay attention to again you're starting to see this more and more starting to pop out here here and notice now you can almost see the line completely there's more of these little white spots as they put it than meets the eye now watch this let's get into i think we were on nine let's go to ten now this is where i start to bring it out and then get rid of some of the graininess if i can okay now i'm just going to back up just a hair check that out why does that look almost completely square almost like a pyramid i'm not saying that's what it is uh because people are gonna oh my god this is a pyramid on the on, on dwarf planet i don't know what it is but it almost looks intelligently made now i'm gonna go a little further with this brighten it up a little and you can start to see the lines a little bit better notice how you can start to see more and more what look like structures And you can start to see something that almost looks like a diamond shape, if you will. And then goes down where it looks like a darkened area. But you'll see things like over here connecting. Something looks like it's almost like a 90 degree angle or something right here. Something right here. And you're going to see I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. I mean, look at this stuff. It's peeking right through it. There's something right here faintly. And you'll see that in a minute. It actually does this. Actually, let me back up a little bit. It appears to go down like this, but there also looks like something's doing this. There's something right here. And it looks like multiple structures there. And now, understand, these things would have to be pretty darn large. Now you can start to see a whole lot more starting to break out of this picture. Check this out. Just, I mean, look at it all. It's all starting to come out. And the more you see, you can almost see like the light. That's what you want to pull out. You want to pull this out. Now, here we go. The last one right there. There you go. There's the rest of this picture, or at least the most I could get out of it. And I'm sure if I dug into it even more so, I'd be able to find more in here. Check this out. Look at this. Look at these areas right here. This one. All of this whole area. Just about the whole bloody thing has something in it there's something right here i don't know what the hell this is anytime you see this docking crap this stuff right here it's all completely been put on here um when you back up i'm going to start going back up watch watch this area right here in question watch this see how it's like you can see it just going over that this black garbage is just going over this see it now watch this back up this is where I blasted this stuff away to get rid of that crap. And you're going to start to see more and more fade away because you have to drag it through. See it? It's completely almost blotted up, but you can still see it right here. You can still see that thing underneath. That's what you have to look for. It's the whiter, brighter areas that you want to bring out. And that's what it's all about. And like I said, the more you get into this thing... I mean, I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think this stuff is. Is it nothing more than just natural? Uh, I mean, come on. Look at this. You can blatantly see this area. It has completely been blotted right out. And you can literally almost see the line. <laughs> that they blotted it out. The whole thing has been completely fudged, including this area down here. I mean, oh, my God. It's insane, guys. And you can see that. Nothing there to see. And this is what I'm saying, guys. Got to dig into this a little deeper. Back up just a hair bit. And, oh, I mean, you can see the line to this. This is what's crazy. I'm not sure if this thing has a cutoff like a corner right here. But it goes across. It looks like it goes around like this. And then there's whatever else. Look at this. Something right here. You can see a faint line going down like this. 
it's almost like it's pyramidical, like kind of like it's pyramid wise. Look at this. Like it keeps going down. I don't know. You guys tell me. I mean, I I'm seeing things that just don't look like just simple um, features of a rock. I mean, look at these two things right here. There's one here. One here. Look like round circles or square. Of, if they could be square for all I know. Because it's, it's hard to tell. They're just small little details. But there is... Where did I see the other ones too? There's a couple more. They're like these here. There's one right here. One right here. Well, one a little too far, uh, too far there. But and as far as I want to go anyway. And you can see whatever this thing is... And you can see more of it. Look, check this out. Like there's one, two, three, four. Like, there's many little things in a row right here. There's something right here. You can just see it underneath all of this mess. You got to pay attention to the brighter areas. That's what it's all about. And that's what it comes down to. You know, obviously you guys can give me your take on it. But I'm seeing a lot more here than meets the eye. Just look at the shape of some of these things. Now, don't get me wrong. it's Guys, it's harder than hell to bring this stuff out of there because it is actually being covered up. I don't think this is like these little salt deposits, as they put it. Um, yeah, it just happens to be one spot of this dwarf planet. Come on now. Um, and here's the funny thing. You want to see something good? Pay attention to these lines a minute because you, you, you can see it right here. This line right here. This right here. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're faint, but here's that weird almost diamond-shaped thing with the dark area. Okay. Let me go back into this again. Let's go to here. Let's get into the... Heck, we'll even download the TIFF. How's that? Open that bad boy up. You can see it right there. There's one. Goes across. Has the diamond shape. I'm going to go in too far. It's just going to pixelate. But you can see the diamond shape type thing in the little dock area. Piece going across, piece going down. This other long piece right here. Right there. See it? Whoops. You can see it right there. They're all in the picture. All it is is that you're dragging this stuff, trying to bring it through the blur or the garbage you're putting over this. That's all you're trying to do is just trying to blast this stuff or at least try to get through it. And that's basically what I'm doing. Um, so you get the idea. I mean, again, you can see it right here. Whoops. Let's go ahead and zoom in in this way. You can see it. You can see all of these little details right here. They're just being, you can just see the area that's really heavily blotched out, but the whole thing is basically blotched. But look at that. Nice straight line. And this is not me doing this, guys. This is, the, this is on their picture. But what they try to do is super contrast it so you can't make out any detail. And they're pretty done good at it, i got to admit. Um, but the more you get into this thing, you can actually see this straight line. It's like a giant square. Look at it. There's a line right here. Line right here. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Is it nothing more than just the features of the of this crater or whatever they call this? You guys tell me. Um, I'm seeing much more to it, but I could be way off base. This is what I've dragged out of the picture, um, and that's what I believe that this stuff is. I mean, I don't know. Let's see if we can go like, let's go ahead and throw some uh, yellow filter and see what happens there. We can just go ahead and what we do is just hit the blue, just back it off a little bit, drop it down to some percentage. And there you go. You guys tell me what you think that is. Just nothing more than rock formations. But these things have to be pretty darn large. I read off the pixels, and of course you guys, you guys will get the page to that. Uh, hopefully I can have the time to do that. I've already had the chance to upload the other uh, video, um, which is good. I wanted to get that out for you guys. But now this one here, I'm going to try like heck to get it out. But as you can see, look at it. <laughs> I mean... This, I, I don't know, there's some crazy shapes in here that just clearly don't look like, um, like I said, look at, perfect. And let's say for argument's sake, you can see it right here, going down. Let's say for argument's sake, they put this here, meaning 
trying to hide something. What would be the point? It's a rock. It's nothing more than a dwarf planet just floating around, right? What would be the point if they actually put this square there? If NASA themselves had done it, what would be the point? And that's what you'd have to ask yourself. And then, what about all the rest of this stuff? That's here. That's going to different places and different underneath here and there. I mean, what else? You know, who else would do that? Almost, this, almost like this perfect, weird diamond-shaped thing and then going down. Or well, at least it looks like it's going down. Going over so on. Got the dock here. I mean, this just looks like, you know, if you look at the white that's being covered up by the, the grayish-blackish garbage, you can tell that this isn't simply not a rock. But, you know, you guys, as always, you guys get the last say. Uh, tell me what you think this stuff is. Is it nothing more than just the, uh, like I said, the details and just the the ground itself? Is it nothing more than the, the surface of the moon? Or I should say dwarf planet. I keep wanting to say moon. I don't know why. Maybe because it's so bloody small. I don't know. Um, but you tell me. You know, I think there's much more to it than that. I think there's, it's more than just a, uh, a a simple rock, meaning a dwarf planet floating around. I think this is, I think this has got something on here. I think there's something intelligently made on here. And the more you look at this stuff over here and just analyze everything, it just simply doesn't look like a rock. But like I said, <laughs> you never can tell. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it too long. Try to keep it brief a little bit if I can. Um... Like I said, uh, I got plenty more coming up. This will probably be the last one until my this next week coming up because uh, I am going on vacation. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be rocking this big time. I'm going to I'm going to go back to uh, the panoramas with the uh, Mount Shop. I'm going to show you the second part of the one I just you know uh, to the first part. Uh, I'm going to show you that as well. Just cool stuff, guys. And I got plenty of things here on the burner, man. So uh, just stay tuned for that. I'm glad I can get back to at least send a couple of these videos out to you guys, and you guys can enjoy these. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Uh, thanks for, you know, just share the video. Thanks for being there uh, and uh, asking how it was doing and stuff like that. And I had a feeling that would happen. <laughs> but uh, we are back. Uh, we'll take another little small pause, you know, for a week. But then we'll be back rocking and rolling for you guys. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Um, and uh, thanks for watching the video.